Hi Libras, I am here with a general reading for the sign of Libra. So this could resonate with anyone who has Libra strongly in their chart. That said, we're all different ages. We're all living in different parts of the world. Um, we are going through different depths of experiences and we're all living in different life templates. So um, there's, it's just impossible for this reading to resonate with everyone. Um, but hopefully there's something here that you can take with you on your journey. My beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space just as you are, just as you are in this moment. I welcome you here. I'm glad to have you. And I'm looking forward to see what, seeing what kind of a story comes out for you today. Um, let's go ahead and look at what is the current energy of this group of Libras? What is the current energy of, of this group of Libras, please? What is the current energy of this group of Libras? What is the current energy of this group of Libras? What is the current energy? Okay, let me get there's a we had a burst of energy and we had a burst burst of cards and now I hit my tripod. I have a tripod that hangs over the top of the table and if I'm not careful and I hit it, it can actually move um, my layout. So I have to be very careful. Um, let me make sure that I have enough space now that I've moved the tripod just a little bit. Yeah. I'm good. All right, let's look at the energy that Libra is stepping into in the next immediate um, incoming future. So we're talking about the next seven to 10 days or the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks. Um, I do not have the capacity, my friends, to determine the time frame for you because we're all moving at different speeds and it would be arrogant of me to place some kind of human determination on this message. But I do have the intention and I've asked for a message of the next immediate future. Um, so take it as it resonates with you, my friends. I bring the story forward and I give it to you to apply to your situations in, in a way that makes sense, in a way that's helpful. The next incoming wave, what is Libra stepping into, please? The next immediate future, what is Libra stepping into, please? What is Libra stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Libra stepping into, please, in the next immediate future? Into, please. Please leave us to bang into. Please leave us to bang into. Whoa, that's a crazy one. Knight of Swords just came out and flipped all over the place on his on his way out. Please leave us to bang into. <laughs> There's a lot of really interesting energy. <laughs> I think this is going to be a, an exciting time for this group of people. All right, and guidance, please, for Libra. Guidance, please. There's one more energy here that's wanting to come out. I can feel them at my fingertips underneath this hand. I can feel the energy on my fingertips. But there's still something in the deck. The fool just flipped over. Didn't come out though. There's a, there's a lot of story in here in this group. There's a lot of a backstory. There we go.
where there, there's something building here, Libra, there's something, there's something manifesting. Um, you have walked into a new, you have walked through a new doorway. You've changed something in your life. The Eight of Cups is taking action to uh, move away from an old pattern, an old cycle, um, an old, it could be, I mean, it could be so many different things. Um, it can be an old relationship. It could be an old job. It could just be an old way of thinking. Um, you have moved away. Remember the Eight of Cups was in reverse when it came out. So it tells me that you have already moved away. You've already stepped away from something. And this could have been months ago. This could have been a couple of years ago. Um, but you have already done it. Um, and you are working now to manifest. Uh, many of you are working to manifest um, some kind of revival in love. Um, some kind of inspiration of the heart or love to come into your lives or a revival of love in your lives. Um, you're working to bring that into fruition. Um, it looks like you're coming into a period of time where um, a wish is coming true. You're able to really focus on your internal happiness, your internal joy. Um, and this time that you have taken to do this, to heal, to understand what fulfills you and what brings you to a place of happiness and joy has been well worth your time. Um, so I do feel like there is a wish coming true. There's new momentum coming in here. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is here. So something is happening in your life. I think that um, for many of you, you have either seen this begin to happen or you are working to bring this into fulfillment because we do have the Magician here. Um, magician is telling me that you it's a manifestation energy. It makes me think that this is what you're working on for many of you. Some of you could already have experienced this. But the fact that the magician, the manifestation card, it's not the fool. But remember the fool flipped over when I was shuffling. So some of you could already be stepping into some kind of new love energy. Um, but for many of you, whatever this love energy is in my friends, it can be brotherly love. It can be sisterly love. It can be love of people. It can be love of another person. Love is an all-encompassing, profound word that we should not place only in one category. And I feel so strongly when I say that. My heart is just beating when I say that. My throat chakra is just alive to say that love is not just in one area of our lives. It is throughout our thoughts and throughout our walk and throughout how we view the world and how we view other people. It is an over-encompassing love and light energy. So however this is resonating with you, but whatever it is, it is um, something that you have worked hard to attain, that you are working hard to bring into your reality, into your experience, and some kind of new momentum is taking shape here um, for this group of Libras. But the Magician card is here, which is telling me for most of you, or for many of you, there is active work being done to manifest this in your life. Now, we did have the Fool flip over, so some of you could already be attaining this now, uh, but you're definitely working. Um, tell me why the Magician is here please tell me more about the magician i feel some anxious energy when i get into the magician like you're wondering if it's going to work you're wondering if you're on the right track there's a little bit of anxious energy here let me see if i can get more out six of pentacles balance and equality three of pentacles okay i understand this is about grounding now this is about putting the steps in making the changes putting the steps in Ten of Wands in the lateral. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands in the lateral. Knight of Pentacles. See how all of these energies are coming in. Um, like, see, my usually the energies rotate clockwise for me. So you're going to start to see this kind of thing happening. They're all like this. And now the Ten of Wands came in like this. So that tells me that you are in the process of understanding why you have taken on so many burdens, why you have um, been riding on someone else's um, carriage, and why you've been on someone else's bandwagon, why you've been living someone else's dream. This is about unburdening yourself from the requirements of others, from the standards of others, from 
um, the opinions of others. This is finding individual strength, my beautiful friends. It's starting to understand how beautiful you are, how precious you are, how powerful you are, um, how powerful that inner flame, that fire is within you. This is uncovering um, that treasure that lies within you. And as you uncover it, you begin to unburden yourself with um, how others feel, what others desire, what others are wanting, the dreams of others. And you start to really focus on what makes you feel it, feel fulfilled, what brings you happiness, what makes you feel successful and comfortable and excited about life. And when you do this, you begin then to bring in um, long-term energy of, oh boy, this is just almost breathless. It's hard to even talk here. Um, you're working here to bring in um, some very real changes in your life. We have the Three of Pentacles here. We have the Six of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles energy is manifesting something new in reality. It's something that you're working on. It's something that you're working to bring into fruition here. Um, it could be slow. It could be slow, the Knight of Pentacles. It could be a slow energy. But let me remind you, the Knight of Pentacles, um, it is the way of getting to the Ace of Pentacles. It is the steps that you take. It is the hard work that you that you really focus on. The Ace of Pentacles, remember, is the Ace that is attached to the Knight of Pentacles. And for me, the Ace of Pentacles is the most profound Ace because it is the change in your reality. It is not a thought. It is not acting out. It's not going to work. I, I'm, I'm going through the other aces in my mind right now. The other aces are clarity, victory, ideas, um, um, starting new actions, um, inner love. This ace that you're headed towards is, a cre is, is creating a brand new chance. See, the energy is not for many of you, the energy is not quite here yet because it's like a jolting energy. It's starting up. It's like an engine on a very cold morning starting up. It's getting going. It's revving up. And I can feel that energy. It's like chugging along. But this is how you create change. It's a knight of pentacles. It's slow moving, but it's long lasting. It creates real change. It brings in the ace of pentacles. It brings in a brand new reality. I love that this is very grounded. So while you have the clarity here and while you have the love with in you and you can feel it for all people and for the land and you can feel that love space really opening up there is a focus now on implementing changes in your life building in your life creating new experiences in your life and i see it growing here we're moving from the knight of pentacles energy this this slow moving but stable and significant progress forward. We're, we're moving into the three of pentacles, which is actually beginning to create some new changes in your life. And then we're moving to the six of pentacles where you have financial balance. So there's something here for you as far as grounding, grounding, setting your feet on the earth, um, taking steps on the earth, um, plugging into Gaia. I think that many of you are already very much connected to source energy, to the energy that brings you guidance, that fills you with love, um, that gives you that passion to move forward. And many of you are working now to create some kind of um, stability in your financial life, stability in your real reality, where there's equality, there's time to rest, there's time to have freedom of thought, freedom of heart space, where you're not always, um, it, it's really hard to manifest love, manifest a new love relationship or manifest the energy of love when you're feeling ungrounded, when you're feeling unstable financially, unstable within a home. It's really hard to do that. So I think for many of you, you're, you're currently working in your manifestation process of implementing real changes in your life that are going to bring new possibilities for you, new possibilities of abundance, new possibilities of creation. Um, they're going to bring this, this, these steps that you're taking are going to bring excess in finances. And what I mean by that is the energy that you're putting out, the work that you're putting out, the work that you're doing um, will will bring you sufficient return um, so that you will be getting paid sufficiently, that you will have enough money to pay your bills, to put in the bank for your retirement or for savings. 
and um, to go out into the community and enjoy yourself, to give to others, to spread the money around, to be generous with your money. Um, for me, that is the Six of Pentacles energy. It's the energy of giving, the energy of receiving, the energy of generosity. And that generosity that I'm plugging in now is a, is a part of this energy that you're working to manifest. And I think you, that many of you have realized that in order to be generous, in order to give of yourself, you need to have sufficient um, reser reserves. There we thank you. You need to have sufficient reserves, sufficient reserves of energy, sufficient reserves of love within you, sufficient reserves of money attainable for you um, so that you can um, be balanced as you move forward. So I see as you're beginning to uh, uh, unload yourself off of tasks and um, duties and responsibilities and um, burdens that you have taken upon yourself or that others have put upon you. You're working to relieve yourself of the unnecessary energy that you're extending that does not give you a return or does not help you in any way. You're, wor you're working to unburden yourself from that. And as you're unburdening yourself from that, you're moving forward now in a new way towards your own long-term stability. So the unburdening here is part of the manifestation and bringing in um, new reality, new work, new money, um, new, new, the three of pentacles is starting something new that's exciting, that has a long-term um, um, prospects for um, prosperity. That is something that allows you to be creative, allows you to really be expansive in your natural elements, in your natural abilities. Um, the Three of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. It's one of my favorite beginning energies. Um, it brings in long-term change. It's exciting. Um, it has a very um, exciting team atmosphere to it. Um, you, you, you are working alone here in the Three of Pentacles, but you're not thinking just of yourself. Um, it, you're thinking of all of your dreams and your wishes and your goals, and you are working hard to um, accomplish the work so that you can step into the next future. And it's a very abundant kind of energy. You're not in a lack space. You're not worried here. Um, you are more in a creative energy. Um, and I like to blend the creative energy with the groundedness. It's, it's a beautiful. So, so you are working at manifesting. Many of you are in this stage right now. Um, but some of you, since that fool popped up when I was shuffling, I think some of you could be very close or, or even entering now um, a new beautiful future of love, of your wishes coming true, and new momentum in your life of maybe even money, increases of money with the Wheel of Fortune. I'll dig into the Wheel of Fortune a little bit um, uh, more in the extended reading. All right, let's move to um, where you're moving, where you're moving to in the next incoming energy. <sighs> There is a little bit of anxiety though that goes along with this Ten of Wands and the Magician. Like you're, you're worried there, there is some sort of underlying worry, um, that it's, it's, for some of you, it's good to recognize that, um, cause it could be slowing you down. We're moving into the next incoming wave of energy in the Four of Swords. Then we move to the Eight of Pentacles. Hanged Man. Knight of Swords. Remember this Knight of Swords came out real crazy like. <laughs> um, I'll, I, I actually can't wait to get into the energy. It was so interesting how that card came out. And this card came out like this. In fact, this card came out last. Let me see. Let me turn these over. to be like this and it's supposed to be like this so this is the next immediate future well what I really like about this is you have the eight here one on top of the other eight of Pentacles and the eight of wands this is power <laughs> this is power 
Um, but it looks like in the next, the, the first one, the first thing that's going to happen, I think, is you're going to find some kind of relief. You might go into some sort of a um, retreat or you might go deep within yourself. You might take a break from working. You might have um, a week or two of just um, not having the moot. How do you say that? Uh -huh. uh, not having the... It's like you don't have your full strength. You don't have your full strength. And whenever you don't have your full strength, um, for me, I've learned that that is a, um, your team working with you to tell you it's time to rest. It's time to take a little bit of break. Um, lots of times we get into this four of swords energy when we're, when we're moving into something new and we don't want to be in that energy. We want to continue moving forward. Uh, but with the four of swords, what I feel like there is a, desire here for your team to teach you something or to work with you on something. And it's going to require some kind of a slowdown, a slowdown, a stillness, a reconnecting in to source energy, what brings you guidance, what brings you strength, what brings you clarity, um, sometimes slowing down and taking some time to stop um, grounding in to Mother Earth. Um, there, There is something here with this four of swords that is to be learned or absorbed. I go through this too. And it's so frustrating in the beginning because you want to keep going, but maybe you don't have as much energy as you used to, or maybe your brain is foggy, or maybe you are hitting some kind of a wall. And there is a necessity here to slow down, to stop, to take some time to rest, to see the beauty around you, to see the beauty in other people's eyes, to see the beauty in the smiles of other people, see the beauty in the earth and the animals, to see the miracles around you. There is some sort of guidance here that there is some sort of enlightenment or some kind of information that's coming to you in the coming days that you will need. Because as soon as you get out of this energy, oh my God, this happens for me too. Oh my gosh. As soon as you get out of this four source energy, you're full speed ahead. So there is some kind of a slowdown here with the Four of Swords, and then it's full speed ahead with the Eight of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. These two energies together are, I think sometimes they're even more powerful um, than the Chariot, or they're like a Chariot type energy. Uh, because you have the Eight of Pentacles, you're staying in your lane. If, if you're thinking about driving on a very wide highway, you know, with maybe four lanes all going the same direction, four or five or six lanes all going in the same direction, and sometimes you see cars that kind of swerve into the other lanes and they honk and they create a ruckus. Um, you are going full speed in your lane. You're, you're steering straight ahead. You're not getting distracted. You're not looking at the, the, the scenery around you. You're not looking at what other people are doing. You're not looking at other cars and you're not looking, you're straight ahead. You're focused. And then you have the eight of wands. It's power, fast movement. Um, there could be a lot of communication here. There could be travel. There is activity and it is optimistic. It's positive. It's powerful. It's exuberant. It's like whatever this fueling up did, it's a fueling up. Thank you. It's a fueling up. Even airplanes have to stop and they have to refuel, right? Like we all have to refuel. Um, this might be refueling in a way of getting back into a more health regimen or something, or whatever it is for you. There is a refueling time, refueling of the mind, refueling of the spirit, refueling, because you are then, after that process, going fast forward, fast forward, powerfully forward. This energy is okay. And then we have a slowdown. So you are going to be going through um, bouts of energy in the next upcoming weeks. This is typical of a manifestation cycle. Manifesting and bringing in something new takes a lot of energy. And I went through this in the, in the earlier years. And even last year, I went through this process where I felt very successful. I felt like I was really going forward. And then all of a sudden, I came to a wall. And it was so frustrating and it was so difficult to stop because when you feel momentum and when you feel like you're on the right track and you're first attaining success and you're um, experiencing some sort of new, um, of new beginning, it's really hard to stop. But there is a slow down, fast movement, slow down, fast movement. Damn, Libra, I have done this before. Um, just what I have learned is to just relax and go with the flow of the energy. Just relax and go with the flow. When you feel the creative energy, when you feel that, um, it's almost in a way, um, like a ma a manic energy, that's a creation energy. 
go with that energy work as hard as you can when you feel the flow go with it go with it and then after you know if this is a week or three days or whatever this period is for you you're going to come to another slowdown here so this is going to be a period of fast movement slow down fast movement slow down um, because you are actually learning while you're while you're working this is something that you probably haven't done before or it's you're in a realm that you haven't been in before and it does take it's like a student in a classroom you study 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 and then you take a test right you study 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 and then you take a test that's the same process that you're going through here so you're going to go into a resting period there's something to be learned or there's some kind of refueling then you're going to go 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 maybe a lot of communication a lot of travel, something here exciting is happening, and then there's something to really ponder. So I see the hanged men over the Queen of Cups, which tells me that this there is a period of time here where you're learning something about inner healing, inner love. Um, you've been reminded of something here. You have uh, maybe in this process of go, 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 you have experienced something here um, that has affected the heart chakra. So there is a need here to take some time and, and learn some more about the heart chakra, about inner love, um, understanding how you can move fast like this and move powerful and still keep this Queen of Cups fragment within you healthy. There could be a Queen of Cups here. Um, there could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you're working with here, um, that you're working with and studying with and, and having some sort of relationship here that you might be teaching that person or that person might be teaching you. There is an element here of teaching, teaching about love, teaching someone, either someone's teaching you or you're teaching someone or, or the universe or your spiritual team is teaching you about how to move forward in this powerful way and still keep this fragment within you healthy. Um, aware now, as you move forward quickly, keeping awareness, keeping a gauge on how you're feeling internally. How, how can you move forward this strongly and this powerfully and still keep your Queen of Cups fragment healthy? Um, so this is staying away, staying, how do they want? <sighs> staying aware of, it's almost like you, of your fuel, fuel tank, is that what you mean? Staying aware of your fuel tank as you're moving forward in such a powerful way staying aware of how much fuel you have inside of you, how much love has been depleted, because we can become depleted. Um, how much fuel you have, how is your passion flame? How are your chakras? For me, the chakras are bright, powerful lights um, that are, are the crown chakra, the, you know, all the chakras are powerful lights. And I can kind of tell when I'm working with my energy, which chakras have been, have been, um, which chakras I've been using because they can, um, I have to feed those chakras with light from source and, and re-engage them. So I, I feel like for you, this is understanding how this powerful movement forward affects your inner reserves and taking some time. Either someone is teaching you that, you're teaching someone else that, or the universe is teaching you how to moderate, how to maintain, how to gauge, how to keep refueling um, your inner reserves as you move forward because here's the thing here's this next burst of energy here with the knight of swords and the six of wands so you're beginning now at the end of this time period whether this is 10 days see this is a lot of movement so i think this is probably over about maybe a month's time or something that you go through this process um you you move forward very abruptly. So you're going through some sort of refueling again or learning how to refuel. And then you move forward very abruptly um, with some sort of truth, with some sort of wisdom. Um, it could be quite surprising here. Okay, so I'm just seeing a picture in my mind. Here you're on some kind of highway or something. You're in some kind of journey. You are working to manufacture something or to get somewhere or do something. When you get to the end of the month or the end of this time period, you're actually going to be moving into some sort of new space um, with the Six of Wands. That's moving out where the public can see you. So you could be bringing something out into the open. Um, you could be publishing a book. Um, you could be working to release some kind of article that you wrote. Remember, the Knight of Swords is communication. It's direct communication. It's It could be surprising. It could be very truthful and honest and direct. The Knight of Swords often comes comes in very abruptly 
very quickly, very powerfully, but it's usually about expression. It's usually about truth. It's usually very, um, it could even be surprising. It could even make some people mad. Um, and you're coming out here with the Six of Wands. So you're starting to um, come out into the community in some way here. Um, step out into the community. Maybe at this point, it's still just even a little tentative, but the Six of Wands is certainly here. And the Six of Wands is taking on a new project or um, presenting something to a family member or to a lover, presenting something, bringing something out into the community, stepping forward in a new way. Um, you could have a new job or you could have some kind of new project that you're working on, or you could be in some kind of new relationship here that you're moving out into the community with, people are seeing it. Whatever this is for you, um, this is no longer a secret. This is something that you are extending out outward because we have communication and then we have stepping out. So it's something that you're doing where you're stepping out with something new, could be very powerfully, could be somewhat of a surprise, could all of a sudden just be there for people. And people are like, what the heck? I didn't even know you were working on this or wow. Um, I didn't know that you knew all of this information about this subject. You know, whatever this is, it's communication and it's fast and it's direct and it's something that you're bringing forward to the public. So um, all of the stopping and going is actually going to be successful for you. It's just learning how to maintain yourself and not get, getting yourself in an uproar when you're going forward very smoothly and very powerfully and then all of a sudden it's like you no longer have that energy and you have to take time to rest and realize and, and learn about, okay, what happened? I had all this energy, I had, was had doing all these activities and now there's another waiting period. What happened and why? And just learn how to, learning how to go with that flow and being okay. When you get to the point where you don't have that much energy and you have to slow down, well, just enjoy that. Enjoy that rest. Um, because when you're manifesting, it is a different sort. It's not like you're going to your office and you're working every day on numbers and stuff. It's not like that. It's a completely different kind of process. It's a different, that's my experience anyway, that it's a different kind of process. Creators and influencers and manifestors work with the flow of energy. When the creative energy flows, they go to work. And when it slows down, they rest, they consume um, healthy foods, they they consume guidance from their spiritual teams, whatever they're consuming, they're taking into their body and they're refueling and they're going forward again. So actually, this is a really very important time. It's a very exciting time. It's a time of learning and expansion. And at this end of this period, you are doing something. Um, I think that's going to bring you a lot of excitement and fulfillment. You're actually beginning to step out in some kind of a new way here with the Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands. I mean, these energies don't lie. I, they don't lie. So it's, it's here. And even when I get here, remember we're in the energy now with this 10 of, with this 10 of wands, remember like this. And so there could even be some doubt here. Um, don't carry the doubt because remember you're working to manifest. Don't try not to carry the doubt. Try to use this reading to help you with this energy of manifesting. Um, because there could just be, I feel like there could just be a little bit of doubt here. Um, that's okay. That That is part of the manifest, manifestation process. But try not to stay in the energy of doubt. Um, try to stay in the energy of empowerment, um, of realization, of connecting in. When you connect into source, there is no doubt. So if you start to have doubt, if you start to have negative thoughts or thoughts of um, depletion or thoughts of diminishment or thoughts of negativity, that tells me that there is needing to be a refueling. So the minute you start having doubts, you can have restructuring, restructuring, rethinking, reanalysis. Re it's not doubt. That's logic. That's rationale, right? That's logic. There's a difference between rethinking and doubt. There is a difference. You can rethink, you can re-strategize. There's a difference in the energy. When you begin to have doubt within yourself, that tells me that there is a need to slow down and reconnect again to source energy because source energy is clear. It's sparkling. It is optimistic. It is, it is powerful. So there is here a recognized there for some of you, there's a recognition between the two of those. All right. That's enough of me. Um, let's go ahead and look at the guidance now for this group of Libras as they're accomplishing something beautiful and powerful. Let's see what's here. We have the page of wands. Ooh, my hands are a little bit shaky. Ooh, my hands are shaky. King of wands, five of pentacles and lover's energy. 
Ooh, my back is sweating. Yeah, you... <sighs> Page of Wands energy is um, a, a fresh new energy of passion. There could be messages of messages of passion coming in for you. Um, there could be new introductions. This is, could be meeting new people. Um, this could be meeting a new person. King of Wands is here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to read the cards first, and then I'm going to go into the energies because the energies are intense. So I'm going to read the cards first. Just read them face face value page of wands is a message of passion um an energy of passion youthfulness creativity adventure stepping into new frontiers this is um a beautiful energy to be in as you work to manifest this is the energy that's going to bring you into manifestation um it's the fuel this is fueling up the page of wands is fueling up the King of Wands is a creator energy, an influencer, someone who's not afraid to step into a situation that is a blank slate, a situation that could have destructed. Um, the King of Wands is a rescuer energy, a builder energy, a creator energy. This is someone that uses the power of the heart space and of the, the solar plexus and of the womb chakra to really power forward um, and to do something different. It's the energy that spurs you forward. I get it. I get what they're trying to say. It's an energy that spurs you forward. It's the energy of the Knight of Swords. It's an energy of, boom, I'm moving into this. I'm stepping into this. I have been, you know, it could be the energy of, um, I just haven't been feeling like I could go into that office and fill out that paper, that paperwork, whatever it is. Let's say you're starting a new business or I don't know what it is that you're doing, but there might be something here that you're needing to do and you just haven't felt like you've had the energy or you've felt like um, you, you weren't ready yet. The, the page of wands mixed with the king of wands is all of a sudden you have this burst of energy that comes bursting in and all of a sudden for some reason on this day you have no problem walking into that government building and filling out that form to start your new business or whatever it is it could be anything that's just the easiest one for me to come up with right now it, there is no problem you can do it it seems easy that is the page of wands with the king of wands that's the king of wands energy all right, so that's the creator energy. That's a powerful movement forward energy. And then you have the five of pentacles with the lover's energy. This is the slowdown. This is a depletion, right? This is when you begin to have doubts, when you begin to feel like I'm the only one doing this or I'm the only one thinking this or what if this doesn't work? And what if I have financial devastation? What if I don't have enough money? This is when then you slow down, you reconnect in, you look at, okay, what is a realistic fear? What is a fear that I can't control? Um, what is causing this depletion? Am I just tired? Am I hungry? Have I not been eating right? Have I been working so hard that I haven't been taking care of myself? And reconnecting in to care for the inner self. All right, because the five of pentacles is a is is something that we feel when we have lost um, this kind of energy. So there is an energy here of fast forward movement and then an energy of, of lack perspective, an energy of worry, of depletion, um, because there are decisions here that you are making. Now, there is a lover's, there is a Gemini energy, there is a lover's energy here, um, but this Five of Pentacles energy here, it can cause a lot of slowdown. Um, it, it is slowdown. I have experienced it before, too, where... Um, I am really going, I'm really feeling successful. And then all of a sudden, I don't really know what happens, but um, I wake up the next day and I just don't have it. I don't have it. It's not there. Um, I worry all of a sudden I'm in this weird, it, it, all it talks about here is, is needing to feed the soul, to replenish your fuel, um, to take time to rest and recover, maybe connect with your family again, or connect with your animals, spend time with your animals on your lap spend time and reconnect in, maybe go on a hike. Sorry, I just burped a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I get so into it. You guys see me in a very natural state. You really do. Like I, there, I'm i sitting here, I when I work, I go back and forth on my chair. One hand is on the arm of my chair, the other hand's in my lap. And I sit here and I go back and forth and you're seeing, you're, you're hearing me in a very natural element for me. So yeah, sorry. All right, um, it, it's the energy of just slow, even my energy just now, I'm slowing down, aren't I? I changed my tune. I slowed down. I started talking about how I felt and what I was doing. That is the energy of just slowing down, taking time to um, sit in your recliner, 
I like a good recliner. Drink a cup of tea. Talk to your pet. Look out the window. Dream a little. Mm, cry a little. Could be emotional for some of you. Could be hard. And then after you spend enough time in that place, you will feel refreshed. You will connect in with your spiritual team, with source energy, that white light coming down through your crown chakra, down into your, into your, um, all the chakras, all the energy points in your body, refilling those, refilling your stomach, refilling your body, clearing your energy. Because there are important decisions to make here with the lover's energy. Important, important balance to keep, important decisions to make, important to keep the yang and the yin balanced within you. Remember, the yang energy is the energy of substance, is the energy of um, something you can hold in your hands. Whatever that is, it's, it's the energy of accomplishment. The easiest thing to, to think about the energy for me um, is a mug is a mug or a, or a glass. So the mug or the glass is the yang. But what is the use of the mug? It's to hold liquid. And without the hole in the mug, without the, the mug having a hole in it, which is the yang, it would have no use. So if you're always moving forward in a creation energy, you cannot keep moving unless you have some kind of refueling. The mug has no value unless it is filled with a liquid or whatever you have in there. Toothbrushes, maybe. <laughs> whatever you have in your mugs. Plants. They have no value unless there's a hole in them. You have no energy unless you rest. It's important to be balanced because when we're balanced, we can make the most powerful decisions. We can make the most loving decisions. Now, there could be a love situation that you have here. And if it is, that's wonderful. For many of you, it is just moving forward in life, manifesting whatever you're working to bring into your experience, whether it's more money, whether it's adventure and travel, whatever it is. As you move forward into a new manifestation, a new, a new level, these are the microcosms of the travel, of what happens when we manifest. We're getting into the grit now of manifesting and um, this is how it works. This is how it absolutely works. From my perspective, and I have totally changed my life now, and I'm continuing to change it, I have learned that when we wait and we get our vibration to a certain place, that's important because that's how we get out of the Five of Pentacles. But we then have to move forward. We have to make decisions. We have to be rational. We have to be clear thinking. And this is what you're doing. This is absolutely what, what I see you're doing. This group of Libras will be successful. You will be successful because you are going through this type of movement, slow down, movement, slow down. This is what you're doing. With the lovers here, it's talking about balance, making clear decisions, having a balance in yourself, having that chariot energy within your own heart. It's powerful. My friends, Look forward to living in your new reality because with this type of travel, with this type of manifesting, you will see success. 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 See? There is a resistance. There is resistance energy here, but you will move forward and you will find success. See? I moved the energy just now. You might want to say success, sit down and say the words that you feel resistance to success, wealth, love, say the words over and over again, say the words while you're meditating, success, abundance, success. See, it's so much easier to say it now. Five of Pentacles. That's the key to recover from the five of Pentacles. See the value in the five of Pentacles. That's the key, my friends. That's the key to the doorway. All right. Um, I am going to move to the extended now. I'm going to look definitely at this wheel of fortune. I'm going to look at the six of pentacles. I'm going to look at the eight of wands. 
and the Six of Wands. Those are the energies I'm going to dig deeper into in the extended, and then I'll look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are. So that's, um, that's what I'm going to do in the extended. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I can feel the energy kind of dropping. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break, and then I'm going to come back and do the extended reading. Those of you that are happy with this reading, that makes me happy too. For those of you looking for more information, feel free to move to the extended. All right, thank you all very much, Libra. This has been fun.